Hi, I'm Charlie Gundell from Dial One Windows and Doors in Orange County, California. And today I'd like to talk to you about sliding patio doors. You know, most homes here in Southern California have two or three patio doors. We've done jobs that have as many as 10 or 12 patio doors. But even if your own home only has one patio door, there's some things that you really need to know before you proceed with purchasing a new patio door for your home. And a lot of people won't tell you these things and I want you to really understand how a patio door works. So when you invest the money, in a new patio door, you wind up getting exactly what you want and not settling for something less or what you really didn't know. So many of the patio doors today that are being replaced are being replaced with vinyl patio doors. This is a sill section of a vinyl patio door. Basically, it's just a piece of plastic. And this is what goes down on the bottom. And then this is the sash section, which is what holds the glass. As you can see, these are nothing more than hollow pieces of plastic. And this will slide along on some type of wheel system. Now one of the problems with these patio doors is when the water and rain hits the glass and it runs down the door, it invariably runs down into this track system. And this is a pocketed sill. And then there's holes that are drilled that allow that water to drain into this chamber and then another hole drilled into this chamber and eventually it's supposed to come out at the outer side. Well in theory that's all good but in reality what happens is over time dirt and dust and animal hair and insects and spider webs and vegetation that blows down in here and decays get down into these chambers and when it gets wet from moisture it kind of creates a sludge and it winds up damming up these holes and it either eliminates the holes from working at all, which means no water gets out, or it certainly diminishes the ability of the water to vac evacuate out of the sill. Ultimately what happens is the water builds up in this area and eventually it overflows into the home. And that can cause damage to carpet, to tile, hardwood floors will warp and buckle. So this is the most common type of door that's being sold today. They're relatively inexpensive but this can be a very expensive expenditure if you buy this kind of door and you don't maintain it constantly. And I don't know how you get inside here to clean out the dirt and debris that builds up. So five, six, seven, eight years down the road, our experience shows that these doors start to fail and you have all kinds of problems. And when you have a problem, the company that sold it to you, if they're still in business, is gonna tell you, well, you didn't keep it clean and it's up to you and yada, yada, yada. So if you know what you're doing going into this thing, there's a better way to proceed and there's a way to eliminate this from happening. This is a sill section from our Renewal by Anderson patio door. Right away you see that these are entirely different. Instead of being a hollow piece of plastic, this is extruded aluminum with a vinyl thermal break in between. So temperature does not transfer from inside to outside. If you look at this inverted U shape, this is very stiff and very rigid. And what that means is when you go across the floor, even if there's high spots or low spots, this will bridge that and provide a perfectly flat, uniform surface. So when you go to slide your door, you're not sliding up and down. With the vinyl, it's flexible, it's flimsy, and it will follow the contour of the floor. The other thing is that when the water hits this, it runs down and runs out. There's no pocket, no area for the water to accumulate. Instead of the sash fitting down inside the, the track, our sash is elevated up on top of the track and it glides back and forth effortlessly. So again, when rainwater hits this, it runs down the door, it hits the slope sill, it runs to the outside. There's no place for it to accumulate. There's no hidden dirt, mildew, algae, moss, and other stuff to gum up the wheels and gum up the operation of your home. These doors roll on ball bearing wheels that are self-adjusting. There's two wheels per corner of the door, so each door sash has four wheels. They roll at the elevated highest part of the door so the moisture and dirt never get down there and the doors never roll in all the dirt and muck and mire. These doors slide down in where all the dirt and debris and, and the moisture can accumulate. Now some people have commented that the sill height of this door is high. Well, it's really no higher than the vinyl door. You can see it right there. It's just that with the step-down design, the water sheds to the outside. Now this is an actual patio door corner section 
from a job we just removed. Every month we're removing 8, 10, 15 vinyl patio doors that are 5, 6, 7, 8, 10 years old and they're just failing. So even though it looked nice and white and shiny when they put it in, this is what it looks like a few years down the road. You can see all the dirt that's accumulated in here. The weather stripping used to be white, now it's gray. You can see all the dirt and debris and spider webs and stuff that accumulates inside the door frame. Uh, and then all that stuff that accumulates there is supposed to come out that little hole right there. And when that little hole gets blocked, you've got problems, you've got leaks. If you've got hardwood floors, your hardwood floors are going to get damaged and destroyed. So there's a better way than buying this type of door. Buy an engineered solution. Buy a door that's been around on the market for over 30 years and has been installed in millions of homes with trouble-free service. So that's the basic design of our Renewal by Anderson gliding patio door and separates it from the typical vinyl patio door that's out there on the market. Now we actually have three types of doors. This is our permashield door. If you're looking for a door that is structurally sound and has minimum glass loss area, this is the door you want. You can see that the sash, instead of being hollow plastic, are all laminated veneer lumber. For structural strength, they use laminated veneer lumber also because it's straight and true and won't bow and buckle. And the frame is all treated pine, so structurally very strong, insulates really well. Termites can't ever get to it, can never dry rot, and it's fully encased in the CPVC cladding. So you have the benefits of a low maintenance door, but you have all the structural strength and integrity and insulating qualities of a wood door. You look at the side profile, you can see our raised sill door, you see the laminated veneer lumber, you can see our double pane insulated glass, all tempered safety glass, stainless steel spacer. There's the butyl seal between the spacer and the stainless steel. There's a silicone structural seal around the perimeter. So you're looking at solid wood and CPVC cladding versus hollow plastic. Is there a price difference? Yeah, this door is a little more expensive. I think it's pretty obvious why. And if you put the wrong door in and you have leakage problems and damage to your home years down the road, then you'll wish you would have bought the bigger, better door at, at the beginning. So this is the door we would offer you if you want it the same color inside and out. These are permanent colors, never need to be painted. There's no maintenance ever. If you wanted a door that you could paint or stain on the inside any color you want, then we would use our narrow line door. A narrow line door is low maintenance on the outside, has the same sill detail, has the laminated veneer lumber construction, but the inside is pine. So the inside can be stained any color you want and it can be painted any color you want. Other than that, it has the same qualities and features as our permashield door. If you want a heavier, more robust door, more of a French door look, then you want our French wood door. Our French wood door is built just like the narrow line. It has a laminated veneer lumber. It has a polyurea exterior finish that never needs painting or maintenance, but it has a wider four and five eighth inch style on the sides. It has a four and five eighth inch rail at the top and has a 10 inch rail at the bottom for a heavy, handsome French door look. Again, it has the same treated wood with the CPVC cladding on the frame. The sill is the same aluminum anodized raised sill construction, same dual tandem self-lubricating, self-adjusting wheels, just a heavier, more of a French door look. This door is also available with pine, oak, or maple on the inside. So if you wanted to paint it or you wanted it stained to complement furniture or other paneling or flooring in your home, we could use oak or, or maple and stain it to the color of your choice. From a structural standpoint, I wanted to show you one of the differences. Again, this is solid wood with a low maintenance exterior. Our lock keeper is mortised into the jam. And this is an example of one of our patio door sash styles here. Again, laminated veneer lumber, not hollow plastic. This is solid forged brass hardware that comes in a variety of styles and finishes. When this goes together, you slide the door in, you lock that in place, that is securely locked into place. The hook lifts up so someone can't jimmy your door up and pry it and get to the inside very secure. 
It makes contact with three different weather stripping points so it seals very tightly, yet it operates very easily. And you unlock that and you slide your door open. When we install these doors, after we're done, we take a three inch screw and go back through this latch into the king stud and the trimmer stud. So not only is this anchored into solid wood, but then it's anchored into the structural members of your home. So no one's gonna jimmy or pry or break open this door. It seals very tightly. So if you're looking for a line of patio doors, whether you want a contemporary look, a traditional look, a French look, the Renewal by Anderson patio door line will meet all your needs and you can have confidence that you've invested in a quality product. It's going to be beautiful. It comes in uh, different exterior colors, white, canvas, sandtone, terratone, dark bronze, forest green, uh, and the inside you can get in various wood species depending upon the door. We've got eight beautiful handle sets you can choose from with different finishes. We've got energy efficient smart sunglass. We've got a host of grill options. We've got sturdy, dependable screens, and they're all professionally installed by our own Dial 1 Craftsman. So if you're looking for a door that you can invest in and know that you've bought the best and you will have peace of mind that you're not gonna have to replace it again and your home's not gonna be damaged as a result of making an uninformed uh, decision and buying the wrong door, this is the product for you. Appreciate your time, and I know when we put your doors in for you, you're gonna love them. I trust that you found this information that I've shared with you today to be valuable. You may be a little overwhelmed with all the styles, choices, colors, and uh, decisions to make, but don't worry about that. That's our job to help you. We've been doing this for many years. We've helped over 30,000 customers here in Orange County during the past 28 years, and we love helping people. People bring us their problems. They bring us their possibilities. We are the professionals. We help you work through all the choices, and ultimately our goal is to help you arrive at a project that's exactly what you want and exactly at the budget number that you're looking to spend. Uh, and to us, the, the biggest joy is at the end of the job, seeing the smile on the face of our customers when the job's all done, all the expectations are fulfilled, and they love the look of their, their windows or doors or their shutters, and they love the look of their home, and they're so glad and happy that they made this decision. And we sum all that up, that feeling that a customer gets when the job's all done with what we call our red carpet experience, where we really try to make you the star as a customer. We try to put you on the red carpet. And our whole team, whether it's the sales or the production or administration, is focused on giving you our red carpet experience and, and making you happy and, and, and delighted, having this be a great experience. And from that, we get repeat business, we get referrals from our customers, and that's what has allowed us to sustain ourselves and grow over the years. So we look forward to working with you, and we thank you for the opportunity.